Okay, dear coffee fans, you bought yourself a brand new machine, maybe even a fancy Breville Barista Pro or a Rocket Apartamento with a crazy grinder in order to get the best espresso or cappuccino of your life, but when you try and taste different blends, you are disappointed by the obtained results? Maybe you too, when you come back from a trip to Italy, Portugal or Greece, all these places known for offering a black beverage that makes all coffee fans dream, you drop your bags and spend the next morning daydreaming with the touch of nostalgia that desire to make a coffee like in your last visit to Rome, Lisboa or Athens? Well, we are like that. In the past, when we came back from a trip to Italy and got used to the great ristretti we could get in the bars around the hotel, we bought the same blend as what we had tasted but back home the result was not necessarily great. Often, we even had a mediocre result compared to the small espresso in the bar and we were disappointed. But does the coffee used by the locals really do everything? Sometimes you have to look further, because other parameters come into play when it comes to extracting a worthy coffee. That's right, focusing on a nice blend is not everything. Today, we will explain the famous Italian law of the 4M. These are a few rules used in all Italian bars and coffee shops that aim to offer you a decent breakfast or coffee break. Rule number one, La Michela, the coffee blend. The selected coffee blend is the centerpiece and one of the pillars of these four laws. Of course, a fresh coffee blend with a careful roasting adapted to the terroir, to the origins of the beans used is the most important point, but not the only one. I think you all know that there are two main families of coffee on earth, the Coffea canephora or more commonly known as Robusta and Coffea Arabica. The main characteristics of Coffea Arabica, generous and complex in terms of aroma, low acidity and limited amount of caffeine. Currently the largest producers are Brazil, Colombia and Ethiopia the original home of coffee. This type of coffee is grown at altitudes between 600 and 2000 meters above sea level. The finest coffees are Arabicas, whose aromatic qualities are superior to those of Robustas. The Blue Mountain from Jamaica, the Bourbon Pointu or the Mocha are Arabica varieties, each of which brings its own aromas and flavors to the cup. Robusta characteristics. The second main variant, with a stronger taste, it also contains more caffeine. This species takes its name from its characteristics, namely its great resistance to pests and climatic conditions. One of the largest producers is Vietnam. Robusta is often grown between 200 and 600 meters above sea level. We perceive the characteristics of coffee through our senses. We can therefore give a subjective opinion on the appearance, taste and flavor. The blend we choose to make our ideal espresso is the one that satisfies us the most in terms of appearance, taste and flavor. Appearance. The sight already gives us an idea of the final result of the quality of the coffee during the preparation and in the cup. Whether a bean is porous, for example, or whether it is intact, healthy and therefore carefully harvested. Taste. Allows us to qualitatively classify a substance according to its flavor. Flavor. This is what we perceive in the substance. It is what allows us to identify the taste sensations. If you would like a detailed video on Robusta and Arabica, don't hesitate to write us in the comments so that we can work on it as quickly as possible with some explanations on our part to enable you to understand the advantages and disadvantages between the two. Rule number two, la mano, the hand. When we talk about the hand, we are talking about the way you handle the product, the way you press the coffee in the filter holder, the way you handle the coffee machine, etc. In short, being careful with these tools. Depending on the type of machine you have, you will have more or less factors to pay attention to on a daily basis. The cleanliness of all coffee machines is essential for the preparation of excellent coffee. First of all, the machine must be at the right temperature. Although there is no fixed rule for this, the most suitable temperature is estimated to be around 85 and 90 degrees. Don't hesitate to use a kitchen thermometer to check the temperature of your water. If you have a coffee machine with a filter holder, this should also be carefully cleaned after each coffee, removing any residue of previous ground coffee. 
From time to time, let the water flow through the empty filter so that the extraction circuit remains clean. The coffee is greasy and may therefore stick. If you do not take the time to clean the machine regularly, not only will the coffee deposits dry out and leave you with an unpleasant taste in your cup every time you extract the coffee, but they will also clog the machine in the long run. Automatic coffee machines, on the other hand, often have an automatic rinsing system, which is run when the machine is switched on and off. Another point not to be overlooked is that the filter in the spray head should be cleaned daily using the supplied blind filter and the appropriate detergent. Always check the values of the various pressure gauges, the 9 atmospheres of the pump at the time of its operation, the pressure of the bowler at rest and in operation. 0 0.8 to 1.1 bar. Rule number 3. Il Macina Café. The coffee grinder. The characteristics of the grinder are crucial to the success of a good espresso. Flat or conical grinders can be used, which grind the coffee bean and refine it to a homogeneous, almost powdery bean, ready to be used in the machine. The grinder is equipped with two grinding wheels, and it is advisable to replace them after grinding about 350 to 400 kg of coffee for flat grinders, 600 to 800 kg for conical grinders. It is also very important to keep the coffee bean hopper and the dosing unit clean so that the fat residues released by the beans do not alter the taste of the coffee. There are two types of grinders. Stainless steel grinders, which are reliable but wear out over time, so the grinders must be tightened regularly. Or ceramic grinders, less noisy and wear free, the grinding of your coffee will always be constant. Rule number 4. La macchina. The coffee machine. From the traditional to the super automatic type, there are different types of coffee machines on the market, from the most simple to the most complex. The traditional machine requires careful handling by the user. The first step is to dose the right amount of coffee, for a simple espresso use approximately 8 grams, taking into account some external factors, such as humidity or temperature of the environment or special blends. The super automatic machine, on the other hand, is most of the time user friendly and does not take all these variables into account. It is often sufficient to configure certain parameters once, amount of coffee used, temperature, grinding size and once the information has been recorded the machine manages itself so as you can see it is not enough to go and buy the most expensive bag of coffee beans on the shelf to think that you can enjoy a good cup of coffee but you must learn to control the entire brewing process as with everything you also have to learn to control the different tools you have at home and even if you're not getting it right at first try do not forget that practice makes perfect it is only by training and extracting that you can enhance your barista skills. That's it for today. If you enjoyed our video, do not hesitate to support the channel by clicking on the blue thumb and subscribing. And above all, if you are looking for a coffee worthy of the name and you haven't come yet across a blend that thrills you, don't hesitate to visit our webshop. We have put the link in the description of this video. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to choose your coffee, because you have never get any explanation for it, click on the video we suggest. We'll tell you about the different degrees of roasting and their influence on the taste of coffee. See you soon!